Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. It's easy to think about negotiation being strictly about the art of the deal, making a sale, buying a product or a service, or bangling for a pay raise. Yet negotiation permeates the world of work. It's essential to getting groups to work effectively and to exercising influence. The Carnegie Mellon Leadership and Negotiation Academy for Women is the first program of its kind to develop top-notch female talent by developing leadership skills through a negotiation lens. Leanne Meyer is co-director of the Carnegie Mellon Leadership and Negotiation Academy for Women. Maureen Cahill is senior vice president of Total Rewards with Highmark Health and a recent graduate of the program. Welcome. Good to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I'll start, I'll, I'll start with you, Leanne. Why the need for a program? What did, what did everybody at CMU see out there that made them think this was a great thing to do? Well, our concern, Bill, is if we look both regionally and nationally, is that we have more than 60% of the graduates coming into the workforce are women, more than 50% of professional managers in corporate environments are women, yet when we get to senior leadership, we average at 15 to 7 percent of the population. So there's a real leadership gap between the middle manager and more senior levels of leadership, and that's what we're looking to address with this program. And, and is that just something about the way women move their careers that doesn't ultimately prepare them to make that last final leap into the corner well, office? I, I think it's, it's a combination of, of a tough time in a woman's life, often at the, in the midpoints of their careers. Certain environments that are very not really not supportive to how women are wanting to rise, and certain skill sets that would be helpful. So I think there are multiple reasons why there is the gap, and, okay. and we're looking to address the skill set. You can at least that. deal with the skill set yes, part. Yes. <laughs> and, and we're looking to shape the, the cultures that we work in as well. Really cool. Hey, yeah, Marie, what attracted you to it? Well, I think it was a tremendous opportunity to focus on a skill that I really hadn't thought about, that I use every day in the work that I do and, and frankly, in life. Uh, I negotiate with my sons. I negotiate with my spouse. I negotiate with my mother-in-law, right? We all negotiate uh, in different ways uh, every day. So it was an opportunity to focus on a skill set that I hadn't really thought of as being deficient or an area of need for me. Uh, but, in fact, I learned I had a lot to learn wow. uh, well, through see, the program. Wow, what did you find? You say you negotiate with your kids, with your mother-in-law, with your your spouse, all the rest of it's constant in life. So what were the gaps? What was missing? What did you get out of it? Well, I think one of the key takeaways was uh, planning. That there's actually, uh, if you take time and invest up front to plan and understand the negotiation to be had, uh, depending on the size and scope of it. I don't plan for negotiating who's picking up the dry cleaning or not necessarily every day. But when you plan for a negotiation up front, you begin to understand the, um, the other party's interests and motives and your own, get very clear on what it is that you want. You can be much more creative in the solutions, create win-win opportunities that, you know, one of the key takeaways from the program was there isn't always a winner and a loser in a negotiation. Mm -hmm. There can be a winner and a winner. Um, and by planning, you get that opportunity to achieve that outcome. And I really hadn't stopped to think about it, or did I, nor did I have the skills and the yeah. tools to do it. Bill, and if I could add, uh, the, our co-founder at the Academy is Professor Linda Babcock. And Who's her, been a guest on this show I'm sure she years. has. Yeah, and, and her research really shows, when you say what is the missing skill, is that women are four times less likely to ask for anything than their male counterparts. Mm. So if we think in organizations, it's not just negotiating for salary, but it's are women asking for, for an overseas assignment? Are they asking to work with certain mentors? Are they asking to work on projects? And so a big part of the academy is focusing us on what we should be asking for and training ourselves to ask when, when really research supports we're not asking. And we really and, and to me, we, we provide coaching for many of the women on the program. And when I get feedback from many of the clients, we, we interview the clients for the people we're working with, and they say, oh, they just wished this woman leader learned to ask. Her male colleagues are in their office asking for promotions and opportunities, and women are not asking as much. And so one of the most basic skill sets is just, are you asking? And what should you be asking for? Yeah, but you've added a big leadership component yes. now in the yes. second year. Why'd yes. you decide to do that? What we found is, is that there was a real need coming from the group because of the level of women who are on the program. They wanted to hone their leadership skills as well. And so we've formed a very interesting partnership with Tepa School of Business. We're based in Tepa, although 
although we draw our faculty from both the Heinz College and Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, and we balance the leadership through master classes with many of the traditional leadership skills that research again supports that women maybe need to work on, and they include things like visioning skill sets, building networks of influence, understanding power and authority. And so if we are to move that needle that I was speaking to at the beginning, we really need to offer the leadership skill sets as well. If somebody's yes. interested, I guess it would be for the next one, all right? Yes. They can get a hold of Absolutely. If they just Google Women Leadership Academy at CMU, they'll find us. And we kick off next September with our next cohort. But during the year, we'll be offering wonderful opportunities if women wanted to come and experience what the cohort's like and experience some of our networking events. Oh, very so, good. So you can actually participate yes, all the way along. So all yes. the more reason to check it out. Well, fascinating stuff. Sounds yes. like doing great work. Leanne Meyer from uh, CMU, Maureen Cohill with uh, Highmark Health. Cahill with Highmark Health. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank yeah. you both. Thank you. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.